The promise of abundant milk and meat drives many poor African farmers to spend scarce money on imported cattle that are highly productive in some circumstances. But under the harsher conditions of Africa's smallholder farms, these exotic breeds generally perform poorly. New breeding technologies promise to improve the situation. By collecting eggs and sperm from cattle which perform well for African smallholders, genotypes can be bred that better match farmers' needs. By combining the best sperm and eggs, in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer greatly improve the chances of a farmer getting the best calves for his situation. These reproductive technologies allow high-quality calves that would have had a maximum of 10 calves during their lives to produce hundreds of eggs that are fertilized with sperm from the best possible sires. The eggs from these best cows are then implanted into surrogate mothers to produce hundreds of calves. During a cow cycle, she will normally have one egg fertilized, then wait nine months for her calf. We can take about 30 eggs from a cow every two weeks and then use them to produce dozens of calves. Researchers have proved the concept and shown that costs can be kept low. The next task is to find partners to expand herds of crossbred heifers and make them available to farmers as embryos and calves. Beyond multiplying animals, reproductive technologies combined with genomics can provide a way to introduce specially selected traits, such as tolerance of droughts and poor feeds, and resistance to some diseases such as trypanosomosis. With few job choices, agriculture currently provides employment for 70% of the African workforce. Yet degrading environments and climate uncertainties are making it progressively harder to earn money from farming. As they develop, the new reproductive technologies promise to generate a breeding pool of affordable, hardy, productive cattle types that are known to perform well in the real tough world.